Hoops on 2K Sports. The away team face off against the South Dakota State Jacks. What a game we have in store for us today. Hi there, everyone. We're here at Frost Arena. I'm Vern Monkwith with my partner, Bill Rafter, and our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson. Give us your take, Bill. I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Munir is a top-notch power forward. He is really smart on the defensive end. Hardly makes any mistakes out there, no matter who he's guarding. Oliver is also a capable power forward. His tremendous shooting range can pull the other team's big fellas away from the hoop. And that really opens things up. They're both warriors. We'll just have to see who emerges victorious. it off Murphy gets called for the reach and that's his first foul of the game he should concentrate on just getting good position instead of flailing away at the ball like that Gobbler inbounds the ball I see oh and you can't get a got a hand on it Phenomenal hops help him get a lot of shots. He also has great instincts, a nose for the ball, and a feel for meeting the shooter's release point. Hoppenrat takes it up and puts the hammer down. They take a two-point lead. Oh, don't tell me that the dunk, man. So why didn't we get, you know... Let me see if there's a replay. Huh. You gotta dump that shit! You gotta dump that yeah. shit! Yo, kick it out! Yo, kick it out! Oh, Allison! Pick him up! Pick him up! Who got left side? Being all goofy tonight. Dishes, left wing. Gobbler has it right wing. Cole hey, look at that rebound. The arc. South Dakota State is going to have to work hard to establish some chemistry, Vern. This is a young lineup that hasn't played with each other very long. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Gets the second to fall as well. Munir inbounds the ball. Right around four minutes left in the half. Capono passes to the right side. Outright bounces it to the high post. Gobbler backs in. Aki Gobbler. Dishes it to the left. 14 feet out. It was hit by Mansurez. They're in front, 6 to 2. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Just before the game, I caught up with the Jacks coach. In talking about his opponent, he used the word that scares coaches the most when it comes to defense, length. He said they are so long and have such tremendous shot blocking ability. We need to spread the floor and create safe, open shots. Vern? Thanks, Tracy. He has a great feel for the game and its timing. He is such an outstanding passer. Pass outright. Allison, the shot down low, gets it to fall. They close the gap to four. Murphy inbounds the ball. Chalmers from 12 feet away hits the left rim and out. But they're still out in front by four.
Gets it down low. Takes it up. Snatched by Murphy. He must have thought someone was rotating over to block that. You can't lose concentration Coppenrath. even for a second. That last basket was buried by Coppenrath. Two thirteen left in the first half. The South Dakota State coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Getting set to inbound the ball. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Gobbler inbounds the ball. Lock him up. Switch up, switch up. Daniel is whistled for reaching in, and that's his first foul of the game. You're never going to get away bumping the ball handler on a steal attempt. Too aggressive. Capono wasn't watching the line there. That's going to be over and back. He just lost track of where he was on the floor, Vern. You have to be able to dribble with your head up or things like this happen. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Inside. Finishes in close. Cam North. He's got two. And it's an eight-point game. North is tagged with the reach, foul. and that's his first that's his foul first of the game. Foul. Foul. Good call. Third team foul. Watch the pick, watch the pick. Gobbler inbounds the ball, feeds it down low. Bodiger, the leader, off the backboard and in. They're now behind by six. Kelly passes it back to the top of the key, shoots it. Can't get the jumper to fall. Still a six-point lead. Goes up. Nice job on the assist by Capone. But they're still behind by four. Get him, get him. Tipped, but it's tracked down by the away team. North gets it on the inside. Pretty pass by Kelly. And they're out in front by six. 106 left in the first half. What you gonna do? Oh, that's not a backward violation. Tighten up on it. By yourself, by yourself. Get up. Buttaker. Pick up right. Has it cross court. Capono from about 19 feet. A little long, but it goes in. They close the gap to four. North inbounds the ball. Four second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Daniel dumps it inside, knocks it in, and it's scooped up by Cohen. A little thievery. He showed some nice quick hands to poke it loose. They need to keep an eye on this fella. To the free throw line. From close range. Snatched off the defensive glass by Gobbler. He worked hard for that shot, but the defender worked just a little bit harder. Skips it to the middle. Gobbler misses the tying basket. Daniel tosses it up court. That's all for him. That's his first foul. King foul. Both teams will make some substitutions. Substitution on the court. Daniel pulls the trigger. No luck. But they still lead by two. And we're headed to halftime with the score 14 to 12. How about the happenings in the first half, Bill? Both sides look like they're pretty evenly matched, Vern. This could be shaping up to be a real classic.
now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Coppenrath has been just deadly burned. You gotta dump that shit! You gotta dump that shit! You gotta dump that shit! He's missing anything inside or out. He's been an offensive force. Absolutely on fire. Yeah, give him the hot hand. Hot as well. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Alright, outside of keep up the good work, which be honest being up by two when we're not doing that. And keep bringing them down low. Well, that's the reason why we have to leave. So just keep copping right hot. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. We gotta rebound. Kelly inbounds it to start the second half. Daniel catches it, top of the key, dishes, left wing. Kelly oh, connects Kelly. from long range. He's one for two for the game. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Tracy? During halftime, I talked with the head coach. He told me that he thinks it is going to take a different approach this half for them to hold on to this lead. Coach told me that he wasn't going to play this next Three, half by the book two. and that he'll try things that some might call counterintuitive. I guess we'll see what he means soon enough. Guys? Okay, Tracy. We'll see if he got the message across. The way team head coach may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. He's off on the second. I don't know how to hey, hey, hey. Gobbler. Murphy inbounds the ball. The visitors still hold a narrow lead. From 12 feet away, the offensive board gathered by North. Oh, come on. Tremendous job protecting your territory. They tie it up on the basket by Allison. The away team will take it. Well, apparently, y'all don't know how to do a rebound in our defense. That's great. Visitors are making a few lineup changes. Murphy inbounds the ball. Coppenrath dumps it off. Hammered. And he will go to the line. Shooting. Down the first one. And he splits the free throws. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Gobbler has it left wing. Coppenrath gets the reach in call, and that's his first foul. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Gobbler inbounds the ball. Oh. 
Capono lets it go from the left block. Swear, yeah, the shot is short, but he got the shooter's roll. He's shooting 75% of the game. Probably going to be mid all season. Poked loose, but it's recovered by Coppenrath. Left side. Fires from 11 feet out. Yanked down inside Seven. by Coppenrath. Coppenrath. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Bounces it to the right. Munir backs in. That last three ball is drained by the opponent. The away team calls time. Four. the ball. Zaharias inbounds the ball. Chalmers beats it to the left wing. The spin move. That's his third with the reach, foul. And that's his third foul. foul. When you're in foul trouble like this, it's impossible not to let it get into your head a little bit. Dumps it down low. Blue catches it right what wing. What are you doing, Zaharis? Chalmers reels in the offensive rebound. Oh, Chalmers. South Dakota State calls timeout. They're down by two. 2.27 left in the game. Gobbler inbounds the ball. Cohen lead pass to the baseline. Fasten your seatbelt. Oh, no. Here's the State Farm drive of the game. That's a go-to guy right there, partner. Two twenty-one left in the game. Monsuras hands it off to the paint. Laid in Chalmers. by Chalmers. And they're now out in front by two. Cohen passes it up I court. Know. The Jacks call time. They're losing by two. 2.05 left in the game. So can we keep this today? I appreciate it. Visitors will go with a different look out there. Gobbler inbounds the ball, dumps it to the inside. Allison from 18 feet away. Allison. Oh, man. We're now all tied up 26. One fifty-seven left in the game. Cohen gets the whistle in second, and that will be his second foul of the game. That's a tough call to have go your way if you're a defender. You really have to sell it. The visitors will take a timeout. The score is knotted at 26. 154 left in the game. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball.
Kelly passes back to the right. In the key. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Wide open. What are you doing? Oliver gets the rebound. And it's still all nutted up. Cuts off the pass. Uh -huh. and set. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Nice little crossover. Capono has it down low. Skip pass out left. Stolen by the away team. 119 left in the game. Top and wrap. The D was oh, really come waiting on. for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Let's it go. Would have grabbed the lead, but it was missed by Capono. And it's still all tied up. 26. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. 14 foul. Shooting two. That is really a clutch free throw right there. This shot may be very costly. Now, any basket puts them in a hole. Cohen gets it outright. Hockey! The visitors call timeout. They're trailing by one. 44 seconds left in the game. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Murphy inbounds the ball. A critical possession here. Nine second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. <laughs> Hoppenrath gets called for the reach, and that will be his second foul of the game. Substitution. Well, got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Gets whistled for reaching in, and that's his third foul. If you're going to go for the steal like that, you've got to be careful with your hands. Knocked loose, and it's picked up by the away team. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a thief burn. Gobbler inbounds the ball. Chalmers gets the reach-in call, and that will be his second foul of the game. They had to foul there. They've got no other option. Chalmers gets the reach-in call, and that is his third foul so far. Too much contact there. I like the aggressive defense, but he reached in a little too hard. Allison passes for a side. Munir takes it up. Murphy gets the board inside. Goes up. The shot is knocked down by Chalmers. You gotta dunk that shit! You gotta dunk that shit! Capono off the inbound pass. No miracles on that last full court heave. And it's all over. The away team edges out the Jacks, 29 to 28. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. You gotta dump that shit! You gotta dump that shit! Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Hi, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game-changing performance. This contest needed every second afforded before a winner was to come out on top. Really have their hands full until the game's closed. You gotta dump that shit! You gotta dump that win. shit! Thanks, Greg, for Tracy Wilson and Bill Raftery 
This is Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports. I don't know how much more I can take. Not doing defense, not doing rebounding, not doing offense, not scoring, not man.